Yo, I'm addressing all my obsessed, jealous YouTube haters on my Patreon. Join today. Hey, yo, that documentary kids with guns the real story of saint laz is cooking up that'll be dropping real soon full feature if you ain't never seen my video with jada kiss put in saint laz jada kiss and watch that video if you need a collab get at me you heard i got those bars if you ain't never seen my video with k slay rest in peace put in saint laz k slay and watch that bang 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 video is epic it's like God of guns, which is better protection. Can't decide, that's a hard one. Hey yo, shout out to all the guards in Jersey. You heard, and worldwide. This that God of guns series. We got another installment from the bro, a law C divine out of Asbury. You heard dropping them historic gems. We talking about boarding town on this one, you heard? The notorious New Jersey youth facility For youthful offenders, you heard? So if you ain't never know nothing about it You gonna know about it now Shout out to the whole Newark This episode is called Newark Ram Borton Town You heard? Leave a comment, let me know what part of Jersey you repping But like in New Jersey The gang unit wasn't built for Bloods Or Crips or Latin Kings. The gang unit was built for the gods. Building over 1,500 motherfuckers last, you could best believe three, 300 are better belong to North. This dude decided to take it upon himself, being that he didn't see nobody in the cell, put the stuff on the top bunk and put his stuff on the bottom. And then went and got in the shower. I don't know if he knew anybody there, if he was an old school dude or whatever, but dude walked in the shower and beat him half to death. Like beat him, beat him, beat him half to death. I'm like, damn, this day one. This day one. So I really don't know how to take this shit, bro. Well, I left off that, I was just now getting to this spot called Borden Town. And when you young, you these is deep. This the, the spot you heard stories about more like Send my OGs that was coming over Borden Town. You can't really call them OGs because it's a, it's still a male. It's it's a it's a youth facility, but you're in between 18 and like 25, shit like that. So it's still a young mentality in the building. So I'm just getting there, and we downstairs in like the little dungeon type thing because it's an old jail, you no. Know? So you come in down the bottom, and we all on this paper. So I'm looking at the paper like. They got this paper that they wrapped the meat in at the meat market store on the floor and shit. So, dude, like, yo, get naked. I'm like, ah, oh, man, here we go with this shit. So, dude, ain't no niggas who probably been down before. There's a lot of cons in, in the line with, you know, I'm just a newbie to this shit. So, when I'm down there, I don't really understand the full thing of getting naked. So, you know me, I'm just down to the underwear, but I was ass naked. Man. You know, you know, when you young, like I said, I wasn't no, like I said, I wasn't no scared dude, but I was kind of small at the time still. I wasn't working out really. So when he pushed me into the wall, the big ass police, bro, I could feel a vibration in my body. Like, if he not holding me up, I'm probably going to crumble. Like, I'm going straight to the ground. You know what I'm saying, bro? But, you know, I know to keep my composure, because if I swing on him, this pipe could be beginning of the ending for a nigga like me. And I'm a little bit smarter than that with, to let this dude beat my head in. So what they do is like I, like I cause a little disruption. So when they send us upstairs, everybody, they got this, when you get the board in town, they got this unit at the time. I'm going, when I'm going in, I'm going to say is E1 is on the first floor. Every, every unit got three floors to it. So it's E1, E2, E3. So E1 is like a reception unit. So it sells on both sides of the hall. When you come in, you come through the first gate, the police be right there at the desk. But there's another gate behind it where you'll go through once you see who you is. You know the, the basic routine. What's your name? What's your number? Ah, yeah, your room was such and such. He's going through the old dynamics of everybody right there. So before he opened the gate, he like, who Collins? I'm like, me, he like, yeah, you on, you on key lock. I'm like, what, for what? So yeah, you cause a little disruption downstairs and shit. I'm like, ah, oh, here we go, lockdown already. So now that I'm in my cell, 
on my lockdown and everybody mingling around. I can't, when I came to the jail, I, I didn't come with people from my county because like when you go to this, this is like a, um, it's a big ass facility that you go to before you go down to your facility. We, um, it's like a classification building. I, I know the name of it, but it's, it's, not, it's not on the tip of my tongue right now. Paul, I'm gonna get back to that. But it's a facility where you go before you go to Yardville, Bordentown, Broadway, and the Dells. It's, it's a stop there. So when when I leave there, like I'm, I'm the only one from my county going to Bordentown, so I'm basically by myself. So you got other dudes from North Patterson, wherever they might be from. So I'm in. I'm on Key Lock. I'm on Key Lock, so I can't come out myself, bruh. Off the rip. One dude get jumped on that was on the bus with me. He called himself um, going into a cell because some sides had two man bunks in them and the other side had one man cell. So this dude decided to take it upon himself, being that he didn't see nobody in the cell, put the stuff on the top bunk and put his stuff on the bottom. And then went and got in the shower. I don't know if he knew anybody there, if he was an old school dude or whatever, but dude walked in the shower and beat him half to death. Like beat them, beat them, beat them half to death. I'm like, damn, this day one. This day one. So I really don't know how to take this shit, bro. You see what I'm saying? Because, like I said, it, Asbury don't dominate now. It's north. Then you got other major cities, Jersey City, Patterson, Broadway, Camden, Trent. There's people from everywhere, bro. Everywhere. And on some G shit, them north niggas be on bullshit. Shout out to all my North niggas, but y'all know the, 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 the bad rap y'all get inside behind the walls. Like I said before, I'm from North. I just you know I'm from Asbury though. But for the most part, they dominate and they be on bullshit, lads. Like they don't mind breaking into your locker. They don't mind jumping. They don't mind stealing your stuff. You, you see what I'm saying? They don't mind because they gonna roll together. They beef with each other heavy because they, they go by blocks where they from 16th Ave. might beef with Clinton ass, shit like that. This is before the games. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't say where the game unit started at. I really can't say what's the first. I'm going to say L.A. But like in New Jersey, the game unit wasn't built for Bloods or Crips or Latin Kings. The game unit was built for the gods. You see what I'm saying? Because when I'm going to when I'm going to jail, when I'm when I'm going to prison, the bloods don't even exist in New Jersey yet. So when the gang unit got built, the only thing back then the gang unit was the guards. The bloods, the bloods. When when the bloods came into effect, that's when I think it became a security a security threat group. Just when we when we had it, you know what I'm saying? I should hear like, bro, don't don't go down there and tell me your name, see Devon. They gonna send you to the gang unit, but for the pretty for the for the most part, when you go to that classification unit, lads, they know what you're affiliated with. Like my name is in my paperwork, so so the only way the only way you 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 not going to the gang unit is if you don't got a whole bunch of prison infractions and you got to remind y'all fresh in, so I don't have any prison infractions. Yeah, I got the county infractions, but that shit don't follow you. So. They sent me to Boyd Town anyway, which I pretty much knew I was going because I'm, I was labeled a problem child. So that's where they sent all the problem childs at. So now I like, get off of this um this little kiosk shit. Now I can get to move around. I can get to go to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So now I like, come out for the lunch movement. And as I'm going, I just bumped into dudes that I came on the bus with. They're like, look, when you go in the mess hall through the metal detector, you're walking down this line, you're going to get your food at the, at the window out of I go down. Say, yo, whatever you do, don't walk through the tables. Walk straight down the roads and then find you a seat. Whatever you do, do not cut through the table. So I don't, I, you know, I'm going to follow the instructions because I know how to follow instructions. Don't cut through the tables, walk down the roads. All right. I guess everybody didn't get this memo, last. You see what I'm saying? Because one thing a dude do he hate is you sitting there eating his four people to a table. But it might be down as one row, it might be 10 tables. The next row, another 10 tables. The next row, because the, the bigger the mess, I'll get the, the more tables, so it might be 15 tables. It might be five rows of 15 and four rows of 10. Shit like that. So you know, 
cities and sitting with cities. You got North sitting with North. You got Trans sitting with Trans. See, now with Asbury, we sit with his Monmouth County and Ocean County. So you're going to have brothers from like the guards from Asbury and the guards from Lakewood, from, from everywhere. Pretty much like in that surrounding area, Monmouth County, Ocean County, pretty much behind the wall is technically brothers. You see what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're a county that's right next to us. They be in our county, we be in their county. Like, they, this is, it's a mutual respect. So when we down prison, we pretty much roll with them. And that's still not a lot of brothers right there, lads, compared to what North got in the building. If the building over 1,500 motherfuckers, lads, you could best believe three 300 are better belong to North. You see what I'm saying? So you know what, they, you know what type of time they going to be on. Whoever got the most numbers usually be the oppressor in my eyes. That's just my opinion. But back to this dude walking through the table. When you walk through the table and you stand up and you try to slide through like, excuse me, your dick is in one nigga train, your ass is in another nigga train. You about to get hit from, you about to get hit from both sides. You see what I'm saying? So you better hope these, these, these dudes ain't packing knives and it's just a hand job real quick. Because I done seen it done various times when dudes don't really know what's going on yet and try to slide through just try to get you with it to dump your tray yet you excuse me niggas get up and bang from both sides bang 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 you play your damn they just watch something and you, you and, 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 and these are the things that you see but I, I i take it back to his people's not schooling them or giving them prison etiquette because once the dude told me right there in the line like yo bro don't cross dude the table walk the lines I automatically knew something bad could happen. And, 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 and another thing, lad, I don't want to believe it off the topic, is that when when we when dudes from my county come into these jail, they automatically automatically know that the numbers is against them. So a lot of dudes where I'm from gotta go hard because that's the only way they're gonna get the respect behind this wall like Borton Town. But now I'm, I'm learning how to, like, to get through the navigate through the jail, but I know people, lads. This one thing about, like I told you before, like when I went to this spot called Jamesburg as a juvenile, I'm just leaving there. When I'm 18, I turned 18, I left there. I'm locked back up while I'm 18, lads. So now when I get down to boarding town, it's everybody that I was in Jamesburg with, it's pretty much here. It's pretty much here. So for the people that don't know me, it's, going, it's not going to really be a problem because it's more people that do know me, lads, because at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not a tough guy and I ain't no sucker. Dudes respected me because I respected men. I ain't always had to fight, but I fought. But what I'm saying is about me was that niggas knew me and knew I was solid. And that was from everywhere. Like North, Patterson, Trent, they all knew I was a solid brother. So I ain't have a lot of the problems that a lot of niggas from around my way had. You see what I'm saying? And don't forget this. This was the number one thing I told you the last time we spoke. I am from North. You see what I'm saying? So I'm coming across people that I know from my childhood. I'm coming across cousins. I'm coming across people that know my dad. But I still in all, I'm God too. So I got a, I got a lot it of wasn't no, It wasn't a, a high percentage of dudes from North that was God body? Nah. That... See, when you're dealing with North, you're going to have guys from North. There's a lot of guys in North, but not as many as it is Muslims. You see what I'm saying? Because that's a Muslim community. That's a Muslim city. That's where the mass GA that, that Malcolm and them had. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's a big Muslim city. So a lot of them be Muslim. You're going to come across a couple of the guys, and they be good brothers, too. They be soldiers. They're the equivalent, like I said, they're equivalent to the Brooklyn guys. But sometimes that that don't matter. Cause you cause I done seen guys down there from different states get it on with each other. And I mean really get it on. Because it be yo, you're a guy from such and such. You ain't really like that. And you be like, damn, like what what do it matter? Like they both the God. Doesn't matter where you're from. Cause when in Adbury, we not supposed to look at the gods like that. We we wasn't taught to look at the God like he yeah, God from North. Well, he a God from Patterson. Bruh, if he can show and prove, he one of us. You see what I'm saying? So that's why a lot of a lot of the brothers who be gods and they be knowing their lessons from Asbury, they don't be having issues behind the wall. Because 
them lessons, them lessons can save your life. It helps you think. It, it, help, it helps you understand the situation. It gives you it, the, the lessons to me give you every 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 angle you need to figure something out in life. And I don't care if it's bad or good. But when you behind these walls like Born Town, you gotta be able to think quick because you know how the jail is. Like I seen your stories, it go down anywhere. Shower, kitchen, laundry room, gym, rec yard. Like I had a I had a friend that I grew up with. I ain't even gonna give his name because you know he, he, he not he not he not a, he, he never was a gangster, never was a killer, but in my eyes, I like, yo, I seen you fight before. I know you can give it to a lot of these niggas. But he wouldn't fight, lads. You see what I'm saying? Like, I know he could fight, but he just was scared to put on. Who's like, that dude from remember? your hood? Yeah, nigga from my hood. We down boarding town. So I'm on a whole number unit at first. I'm downstairs on A2. He's upstairs on A3. So it was a big situation down on A2. I really don't, I wasn't involved in it. But it had involved the guards. So when I'm coming back from the yard, the police got a list of names that's moving. And my one of, my name is one of the names on the list. So I'm like, yo, where I'm going? They're like, yo, you're going upstairs to A3. Now, for anybody who's been down boarding town, and, and the people going to get in the comment section and say what it is, A, A, A1, A2, A3 was considered the terror dome. But it was dorms. And... It was at the time. It was 122 motherfuckers in each dorm, and this this before they had the gates up in the dorm and made it four sections in the dorm. So now you got 120 22 motherfuckers in between the 18 and 25 in the dorm, wide open, no police. Yeah. So when I moved upstairs, like dudes knew me, like the dude who kind of pretty much ran the unit. Name was Amani. Good dude, big dude, solid dude, Amani, sturdy, stiff at the shoulders. Really, really good dude, but he was a goonie. And he ran it like a goonie was supposed to run it, so you can't knock him for that. So, but they moved me into that first section of the dorm is where he was at. Like, the, usually the head nigga sleeping in that top dorm right there on the first bed on the bottom. That this is, he running the spot. Or he usually sleeping that last bed in the dorm all the way in the back in the bottom. They usually run the dorm, shit like that. So, they moved me in that first pod right there to your right. And it was me and my man, Jock Hill, from New Brunswick. That's the God, you know what I'm saying? So I'm telling him, I'm like, yo, God, what the fuck going on? He's like, yeah, the God's had a little issue down on A2. And they they separating the guards and they separate all these guys. Right, it's cool, I don't. He's like, yo, you good up here, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I ain't worried about none of that. It's like, yo, you got to get familiar with dudes all over that you might not really know. So when me and the brother talking, I hear motherfuckers in the back like, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So... I'm like, what the fuck going on back there? And and the nigga Monty, like, they probably having a um a give it up contest. I'm like, a give it up contest? Like, yeah, they be having niggas back there doing the give it up dance. So they be playing cards or all. He said, anything. So I go back there just to see what, what's going on, lad. You know, everything I love. They got my man doing the give it up, smacking them with shower slippers and shit on his ass and things of that nature, man. So, you know, he butt ass? Nah, he got on shorts. But... I'm mad, dude. I'm, I'm I'm in my bag about this shit, dude. Last because he one of the guards. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I see niggas do shit like that to dudes on Rikers Island, butt ass. So you it, said the evening, butt ass or in short, it's degrading for a man to sit there and do that shit because he's scared of other niggas. Straight up. You see what I'm saying? But the brother Jack Hill telling me like, yo, see the bond. If he ain't gonna fight, you can't you can't poke your chest out for him because we don't know niggas on his dorm like that. And if you fight, I gotta fight that man. We're gonna probably get our ass kicked together. Let's just wait in the morning and talk to him. So I'm like, cool, I am with that. You know what I'm saying? For the rest of the night, I wouldn't even say nothing to the brother because I was so mad. But another brother had pulled me to the side, which which was, like I said, you don't consider them OGs because we basically in the same bracket. But like I said, these brothers was outside before me. My brother, True Lord, which was a good brother. He was from, from Asbury. And he was like, oh, see, Devon, that shit been going on up here for a couple months. So he was up there when I moved up here. And the first thing he told me, we were like, look, I'm not trying to save him. 
I know what type of brother you is. I know we could go back to back. He said, I just need to know you're not going to be on that dog shit up here. And like, you're going to be on some ass great time. And that's the first time I ever had to explain this to a brother about my North shit because when I first moved to Asbury, he was a brother that was around when I first moved around. So he knew I was from North. And I was like, nah, bro, I'm claiming Asbury. I said at the Asbury table. He said, I know all of that. He said, but up here, you know, it could get different. And, and it did just like that. And, and, and uh, 20 minutes later, I'm up there playing casino and I was good at it. So I was running through the unit. So I'm playing a nigga from Freehold, which is, you know, in Monmouth County. So he he he, he sit with us, he eat with us, he one of the he one of the fellas. So I'm beating him. But ain't nobody got next, so we keep playing. So a dude from Patterson come up, um Jamaican niggas. It's a lot of Jamaican niggas out Patterson. He come up like I got next. So my man yell, now it's locked, me and my homie playing. You know what I'm saying? We going at it. So the dude don't say nothing. So me and my homie keep going at it. So while we going at it, the dude standing there, he ain't even saying nothing. But he working out too in the mix of that. So I'm like, yo, bro, I'll pay you when you first working out. He's like, nah, it's cool. So in the mix of him doing push-ups, he get up, he sneak my man. Last. He hit him with a punch so hard. And I'm thinking like, yo, it's over. Last, my nigga ate this shit, last. You see what I'm saying? I was really judging my man because he wasn't no big nigga. He was a basketball player. He was kind of tall. Now this this this, this this ain't the same. This ain't the same kid that was dancing. Nah, the same nigga that was dancing. I couldn't save him. He was already too far gone. You see what I'm but, saying? But and, and the nigga, kid, the kid who snuffed his your man just now. He was from Newark. Nah, he was from Patterson. Oh yeah, yeah. You said a Jamaican kid from Patterson, right? Yeah. So he snuffed my man. I really thought my man was about to go out. My man ate the shot. My man picked this nigga up. And mind you, the ball player. He picked this nigga up over his head. Somehow, when they grabbed me, they locked up. My man he hit my man. My man locked up with him. So they, 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 they you know, they scuffling for a minute. But I'm coming around the bend, and the big nigga, Imani from North, stopped me. Like, nah, let that go. So... I'm, I gotta respect it because, like I said, I think this nigga kind of run the unit, and I don't know him yet. So I gotta let this shit be a one on one. So my man somehow scooped this nigga up over his head, slam him on his head, boom, fight over. My man get down, hit him one good time before I break it up. Like now nah, he good, bro. You don't need nobody up here. You know what I'm saying? You got you got a three year bid. Go ahead home. So the nigga's face, the lip, nigga looks like big nuts and shit. So you know me, I'm 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 a, I'm, I'm, I'm diplomatic. I go back there to the nigga. Had all the shit calm down to the nigga who got punched in the face and shit. Not my man, but the nigga from Patterson, the Jamaican nigga. I'm like, yo, how this shit gonna go from here? And he like, bro, on some G shit, I shouldn't even have snuck him. I snuck him for, you know what I'm saying? I was showing off. And I'm like, what? He like, yeah, but I was trying to impress another motherfucker, man. Like, niggas was trying to test your vibe and see what you was. I'm like, test my vibe. So that we, I finished the conversation with the nigga. I walk off like, who the fuck would want to test my shit? Like, I don't even know nobody up here. And then, then the nigga, the nigga Imani from North, in the first, in the first little pod, I'm in in the dorm, and I go to my bed, pull up on me like, yo, bro, like, I wanted to see if you was going to react to the nigga hitting your man, and you reacted, just like I thought you would. He said, yo, your cousin told me, like, you, you a solid nigga. He said, you just, you just jump in shit that you shouldn't get into, and I just wanted to show you what, it really get you and your people's fucked up. Like, if these niggas fighting one on one, let them rock. If nobody else don't move, you don't gotta move. You gotta see what your man can do first. And he was really giving me the game because I had never been there yet. You see what I'm saying? He said, because there's a lot of niggas around your way that don't fight. They won't fight back, but they might fight back because you here. And that was one of my first lessons right there of uh, motherfuckers that try to poke their chest out because you here, see, Devon. You see what I'm saying? But and you like said, said your man I, did fight back, though, right? He slammed yeah, him. Yeah, he did fight back. But now that I know that he'll fight back, I'm going to go for him. You see what I'm saying? I would have spoke to him, too. Like, bro, I was going to move, but he said, nah, bro, I already know how that shit go up there, bro. You got to hold your own. Like, niggas, niggas going to niggas gonna try you. I said, what? He said, yeah, nigga, this, this, this almost automatic, bro. He said, because you, he said, because all the rip, you come up here and motherfuckers is bringing you shit. It's niggas that don't, it's not going to like you. I said, damn. And, and, and sure, it's grits and groceries. These niggas from Elizabeth tribe. It was three of these little niggas and shit. You see what I'm saying? The only thing that really, really helped me out it was I knew a nigga from Jamesburg, from Linden. And when the nigga tried to jump me, we got these shits called the dugout. It's when you got to go in, when you're going up to the dorm. And when you turn into the hallway, man, it's three floors. 
and motherfuckers be getting washed up on the stairs. Like they, for, at one time you couldn't look in there. You had to walk in in the blind, but then they put like these little slots on the concrete wall. You could look up in the hallway before you walk in the hallway, before you walk in the door. But before that, bro, when you walk in the hallway, niggas could be waiting on you in the stairwell, and niggas was waiting on you. Bro, no lie, these niggas had me why, upside why, down. What happened though? Why y'all was beefing? Yo, cause you know I play basketball uh, last and I'm down in the gym playing one on one with they man. Yo, playing one on one. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like we ain't playing full court cause there's a lot of people in the gym, so we just playing one on one. And I'm dogging this nigga from Elizabeth, man. Like I'm backing him down, all talking reckless, talking reckless to him. I ain't think nothing of it because he talking reckless back, so I didn't think it was a fighting situation. But but then you talking reckless, then kick the ball on him like you a bum ass nigga. I ain't thinking nothing of it. I'm by myself. At least I thought I was by myself. So I'm walking back from the gym. What they call that gym movement. The gym is at the, the bottom of the jail. You got to walk down this long ass hallway. We call it a turnpike. We call that shit the New Jersey turnpike. That's how long it is. So I ain't tripping. Them niggas took off already. And you know, I'm getting my shit together. My little bag. I have my shorts, my sneakers in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And I'm, I'm walking up the hallway. But now that I'm walking past this hallway, you walking past all these other dorms, you walking past commissary, where you got to cut in these doorways to go up these stairs. I walk past the kitchen, I ain't even looking in the kitchen. I ain't know the guy from Linden was in the kitchen. He was, he said he was trying to get my attention as I walked past, but I had my walkman on. So I walk past the kitchen. Unbeknownst to me, these three niggas is waiting in the little, the little dugout thing for me. And as I turn into the dugout, niggas, niggas stole on me, niggas grabbed me. So I'm trying to fight these niggas back. But like I said, there's so much noise in all these three dorms upstairs, the police not gonna be able to hear what's going on. You see what I'm saying? So as I'm trying to rumble with these niggas, somehow these niggas, they getting the best of me. Or my mother, they getting the best of me. My man from Linden, my nigga Jay from Linden, the guy just from Linden, he come around the corner, man. Like, oh, shit, what the fuck y'all doing to the guy? You know what I'm saying? So we get the rumbling in the hallway. Now the police come. Now we all up on this shit called G3, this lockup. So now I'm trying to figure out what happened. Like, yo, what the fuck? Why y'all niggas try to jump me like that and shit? He like, yo, man, you was talking real reckless down there in the gym. I like, your man was talking reckless. And then, and then and the brother Jay was like, yo, hold up. He knew one of them niggas like, yo, y'all both was talking reckless back and forth, but you took it personal? Nigga was like, yeah, kinda. He like, yo, this is really some kid shit back here. Like, we back here for some kid shit, man. And the nigga, the nigga, the nigga Kwawi, good nigga Kwawi from Elizabeth, from oh, my mother. We're like, yo, see the vine, man. We apologize, man. That shit is not even that serious. And from that point, it was crushed right there, lads. When, when we went to court line, we, we said we was playing, like we was horse playing coming from the gym. But they go cameras in there, so they had to go for it. Just gave us three days for horse playing. But we already had that time in. We had that time in, so they kicked us out. We all go back to the same door. We cool. I, I'm going to call it, I call it a misunderstanding. No harm, no foul situation. You see what I'm saying? It was just that. That, that's how quick shit could get serious down there. Like, I watch me, because niggas be down there on Heron, too. So you really don't know how a nigga might really be coming at you, lad, because I watch young niggas my age get strung out on Heron down this jail, but niggas who never did Heron before. A couple homies from around my way called Heron Habits down Boyden Town. And like I told you, bro, when I get in the building, I'm 18, I'm 19, and I'm trying to figure out what are these niggas doing sniffing heroin, like, you get money in the hood, you know what this shit do to niggas. But it's one of them things where you gotta mind your business. You pay attention, but you mind your business. Let me give you a situation on one of my homies on Hair Rhyme. One of my homies was the, one of the head barbers down in Borden Town. So, Mr. God, too, love him to death, one of the gods. So I'm like, yo, God, I need a haircut. You know what I'm saying? Before I'm gonna go we going to the yard, take pictures. So he's like, yo, come down after lunch. And I'll have you outside, you know what I'm saying? You can be with the brothers and shit, get the flicks. Word is mine, lads. I get there, he starts shaping me up. Do you know the nigga nodded out while shaping me up? And hit me with one of those, um, you ever see on the movie where nigga hit, hit you with the neck? Yeah. <laughs> that, that move. But I had a beard, though, lads. Bro, it was no saving the beard. So oh, now, man. yeah, yeah, bro, he, he, he hit me with the real ill neck off the beard. So he's like, yo, God, we're in fine, man. My fault, God. But let me try to 
in the midst of trying to fix it to one fix, so he just left me with the mustache. Now picture a nigga you going with a beard for all this time and all he got is a mustache now. <laughs> look at how I look like and think of me at 18, 19. I went to that yard and I got around the gods, the brother MD, the brother Black Jesus, uh, true Lord, King Islam, I power over all the gods. And somebody bust out, yo, this nigga look like Eddie Murphy. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. They like, oh, they got like, oh, the God. They like, yeah, the God on that, on that dog food, bro. Like, we should have, yeah, you should have got with us before, before you went down there. We'd have told you to get with the dude with the boxing gloves on his head. Shit, I'd rather not. I told him, this is why not. I see, you ain't that the dude that just went to the shoe for knocking nigga out over a pump? Like, yeah, but he the best barber down there. No disrespect to this brother with the boxing gloves in his, in his, in his head, but I can't imagine nigga might be grabbing up a nigga Johnson and then cutting my hair. Nah, it's not gonna happen. I, I let the God nod out on my shit every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He can nick this motherfucker up every day. At least I know the God straight. See, I'm not holding the God at fault for doing what he's doing behind the wall. I can't tell a nigga how to program. Now, now, now you say, what you talking about? Him, it, the other dude wasn't God, right? The one that was nah, messing with the nah, punk. He wasn't, he wasn't God. He just was the nigga who was a good barber, but he was a chump. He was a chump that knew how to fight, though. A lot of niggas ain't want that smoke with him. He trashed a nigga behind that, that, that homo shit. Like a nigga went in the barbershop, like nigga, you still a faggot, don't get. He gave him, he gave that nigga the hands of God. Watch your mouth, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like he's still a man. So this is what I be saying about when you young, you be thinking you you you're set and have your back. And at this time, it ain't the gangs ain't involved yet. It ain't no bloods and crippers, just the gods and niggas from everywhere. Um, this nigga was trashing niggas, man. Trashing niggas. I was watching one of my homies had a fight. With one of my cousins down there, my cousin Green Eyes Kali, Kali from North, wrote my homie S Mouth Jaw. Yo, I'm not doing too much addressing, you know, these band of clowns that's hopping out 30 deep out of a car like clowns do with big red size 25 clown shoes flopping. Cause a lot of these dudes ain't clowns. They just clown shoes. Big red floppy size 29 clown shoes. And I'm addressing these dudes on my Patreon. Join today. $10 a month.